All right, guys, we're back. Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy CMB checking in. And we're talking about Oscar De La Hoya, guys, uh, because I just watched his Clap Back Thursday segment on his verified Instagram page. And I, I do have to say that that segment is growing on me. You know, he, he does a good job at it. He's very funny, very entertaining. And uh, the last one he just did, he he talked about the PBC and he also talked about Canelo Alvarez. So I want to play some of that for you guys. And uh, I want to give my two cents on what he had to say. We're going to fact check him uh, after letting you guys watch the video. So check this out. It's your favorite time of the week again. Time for the only segment in boxing that gives you the facts and makes you laugh. It's Clapback Thursdays, mofos. And I have some very important details to share with you. So let's get right to it. All right, so last weekend, Tim Zhu got viciously knocked out in the third round against a relatively unknown opponent. Here's what he had to say. Uh, what the fuck just happened? Like, what did I get hit with? And couldn't regroup and I don't know, man. I have nothing but respect for Tim Zhu. I actually love the guy. This is just another example of PBC's Bruh. horrible matchmaking skills. Let's take a trip down memory lane. So 10 years ago, almost to the day, I had several traders Bruh. in my office. Douches. Bruh. My company, Golden Boy Promotions, built all the top PBC fighters, Bruh. including Errol Spence, Deontay Wilder, the Charlo brothers, Danny Garcia, Abner Mares, Leo Santa Cruz, the list goes on. But these disloyal douches in my office waited for my fighters' contracts to expire, Bruh. and they took them over to the new startup promotional company called PBC. Bruh. Hundreds of millions of dollars were raised, and PBC tried to take over the entire boxing industry. And they failed miserably. Bruh. All the fighters they stole from us were on track to have Hall of Fame careers with the guidance of Golden Boy. And now look at them. Bruh. They fight once every three years. Bruh. PBC ruined their careers. Bruh. It is a sinking ship over there. Bruh. Karma takes a long time, but it always comes around. And Canelo just can't help himself when it comes to being an ungrateful, jealous asshole. I'll bring up a name, Oscar De La Hoya. Nah, yeah. don't be the motherfucker, dumb bitch. Canelo. Why do you hate me so much? Bruh. Is it because I fought all challengers and you refused to fight David Benavides? <laughs> Is it because the public will always remember you as a duck? <laughs> Canelo, I built you. <laughs> I'm your daddy. <laughs> Forever and you cannot deny that. So Canelo, <laughs> fuck you. you. And remember folks, you're never a hater if you only speak the facts. Have a nice weekend. All right, guys, so you guys heard that there. Oscar De La Hoya uh, pretty much going at the PBC, going at his former fighter in Canelo Alvarez. Now, the question is, does he have a point? Does he have a point? So let's tackle that. Let's tackle the stuff with the PBC first. Now, he mentioned how he had these fighters on Golden Boy, uh, fighters like Deontay Wilder, fighters like Errol Spence Jr., Charlo Brothers, Danny Swift Garcia, Leo Santa Cruz, to name a few, how traders in his organization, in his office, waited to those fighters' contracts expired and took them over to at the startup company Premier Boxing Champions. Now, legally, I would say, you know, there's not really a problem there. Ethically, you could say something else. Uh, if you got people who are working with you and they're doing this behind your back, yeah, it, it's kind of dirty and it's kind of underhanded, in, in my opinion. But at the same time, we know Oscar, you know, had you know issues of his own. He had uh, issues with, I think, alcohol and drugs at the time. So you know, maybe these fighters saw that. Maybe they thought that being under Golden Boy and how Oscar was running the business wasn't good for their careers and so they took the opportunity to go over to the PBC. Now I will say it doesn't look like it paid off well for them. 
the stuff that the PBC is going through right now. You guys know they lost the, the deal with Showtime. They're now fighting on Amazon Prime. If you look at the, the last fight card there with Tim Zhu, it, it, it kind of looked amateurish. It, it just looked like a, a shit show in a sense. And he talked about how a lot of these guys uh, who were on track to become Hall of Famers under Golden Boy, now that they're only they're only fighting like one time a year, and it, it's in a shambles over at the PBC. Recently, we just saw the stuff with Javante Tank Davis basically not wanting to fight Lamont Roach because the paper's not right. That's the rumor that's going on. So I think, in a sense, Oscar does have a point. And, you know, everything's, you know, I wouldn't say every, he's correct in everything in that situation. There's nuances in that situation. But I, I do see, see how he may feel vindicated because the PBC is going through a whole lot of issues right now. And a lot of those guys who walked away from him, they are also going through issues. So, you know, it is what it is in that sense. Now, the stuff with Canelo Alvarez. He talked about Canelo Alvarez being ungrateful and jealous of him. He said that, you know, people will always remember Canelo Alvarez as a duck because he didn't fight David Benavidez. And he said that he built Canelo. He said that he's Canelo Alvarez's daddy. And I will agree he did build Canelo on Golden Boy. So, yeah, I guess in a sense uh, you could say, you know, Oscar is his daddy. Uh, as far as Canelo being jealous of Oscar, I, you know, I don't really sense that. I don't know. I don't I don't think he's he's jealous of Oscar De La Hoya because he's he's having, you know, a great career. Now, whether or not he's ungrateful, it's possible because like I said, Oscar did build him and now, you know, the relationship is just severed. And then he talked about how, you know, Oscar talked about how he took on all challenges and, you know, the fact that Canelo Alvarez is ducking David Benavidez. And I do have to agree with Oscar on that. You know, Oscar was a different type of fighter. He was a different breed. You know, he was he was going to fight the best competition. Whereas we see sometime with Canelo Alvarez, you know, he ducks and dodges and, and, and cherry picks his fight in a sense. You know, so I, I think he does have a point with that. But like I said, everything's not correct what Oscar said there, but he do he does make some valid points in his clap back Thursday. But uh, you guys let me know what you think about the stuff that he had to say uh, about the PBC, about Canelo Alvarez. Do you agree? Do you disagree? You guys let me know how you feel about it in the comments section. It's the CMB. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. And I'm out. Peace.